Okay, so hopefully you watched my first video about whether to use a USB microphone versus an XLR analog microphone. And then hopefully you watched the second video about whether to choose a dynamic microphone or a condenser microphone. Now we're gonna talk about polar patterns of microphones. A polar pattern is the direction in which, from which a microphone is picking up sound. So it's really simple. It's just a really it's kind of a scientific sounding term, but it's really simple. My Neumann here, which I call Newman, he is an omnidirectional microphone. He picks up sound all around it. This is ideal for uh, recording orchestras or if you're recording ambient sound, if you're making your own noise bank. So it picks up sound really all around it. So that's the polar pattern. It's omnidirectional. The next polar pattern is bidirectional, and it's usually called a figure eight polar pattern. And a figure eight means it's a circle in front of the microphone and a circle in the back to make like a sort of a figure eight. Um, and that's ideal for when you're singing in a duet and you have two people singing on either side and they can just do that and sound amazing. If you only had one mic and you had to have two singers sing, well, then that's what you do. The next polar pattern is cardioid. And this is, uh, it's, it's, like a, it's like a heart coming out from like slightly from the back or sides coming out of the microphone. And basically it's the microphone picking up sound only in front. But notice like cardioid, usually cardioid microphones, they have like a decent kind of surface around them so that you can move your head around and stuff like that. And the reason I say that is because if you use a shotgun mic like this, this is called a shotgun mic, the polar pattern on this is called super cardioid. So it's basically cardioid on steroids um, because it's super tiny. It's in front, but like, look at this mic. Like it's just so small compared to that big surface. So super cardioids are also sometimes just called shotgun. They just call that polar potter pattern the shotgun. Now, Cardioid or supercardioid is what we use in voiceovers usually. So it's a really great pattern because it only picks up noise in front. It's not going to pick up your, you know, husband's farts or your dog snoring or whatever. Um, hopefully, I mean, unless they're like right in front of the mic. Uh, but it's basically only focusing on your voice, you know, and what's in front of it. So it's ideal for voiceovers. So you want to usually use a cardioid. And, you know, you could use a supercardioid. But the thing about the super cardioid that I don't like is that you can't move around much because the pattern, the polar pattern is so small that if you speak off mic, basically the recording is going to sound like S-H-I-T-E. So, uh, yeah, so just be careful if you use a super cardioid. They're really great for announcers, like TV announcers use them a lot. Um, like TV promo announcers, those that do the commercials for TV uh, stations and networks. Like, hey, you're watching Seinfeld. Like those guys use this a lot. Um, and you can use it if you do a lot of narration or e-learning or voicemails, of course, because you're mostly speaking straight on. But if you're somebody who's animated or just a beginner, you really need to be good about microphone technique, like just not moving your head. Whereas this, you, it's more forgiving. So for animation and video games, you want to stick to something like this. Now, when, when you buy an Omni, a lot of the times it'll offer multiple patterns. Like this is an Omni microphone, but it gives me the opportunity to use a figure eight or a cardioid. So it gives me flexibility. So if you're a musician or you just like to work with sound and, and want to do other things with your mic, you might consider an Omni directional microphone that gives you the option of selecting other patterns. And then when you record voiceovers, you're just going to put it on the cardioid pattern or you can buy a microphone that is cardioid. It doesn't do anything else. If you're only ever going to do microphone uh, voiceovers with your microphone, then yeah, you can just pick a cardioid. There are some in a lower range, lower price range that are just straight up cardioid and that'll be fine if that's if voiceovers is all you're doing. So that's my little speech about polar patterns. If you have any questions or comments, please write them in the comment section and I'll do my best to answer them as cleverly as I can.